Hey guys, it's me, your pal Gabriela. And today, I'm going to, um, where are we going? Ripley's Believe It or Not, in Wisconsin, or in the Wisconsin Dells. And I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to drink. Now again, we're gonna explain this before we go in so I don't have to hide it, like in the roadside video, which I don't know if you'll see this before then. My videos are gonna be all fucked up and jumbled timeline-wise, so you're gonna be like going back and past, not that in the past, not that it matters. It looks like my car has boobs from the liner. But uh, I'm gonna drink a Cerveza Aguet, Cerveza de Barranquilla uh, beer, and it is from, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it well, but it's from 1992, as the glass would show you. Now it's backwards, but it does say 92. So that makes that beer a, uh, what? 29 year old beer, almost 30 year old beer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It'll be 30 years old in a couple of days. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drink that. Uh, I'll do it real quick in there, because like I said, I don't wanna get caught. There's a bunch of uh, floating chunky brown in there. Ugh. But all right, uh, I'll show you uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Apparently, some horror guy. Who's the guy we met? Paranormal Files, Colin Brown. Yeah, par Paranormal Files, Colin Brown. Brown. Hey, what, a, what a stupid name. That's right, I said it. You have a dumb name. And uh, he was real nice. We met him outside the uh, bar in our hometown. It's the, uh, what is it? The Baraboo Inn Bar. And it's supposed to be haunted and all this shit. And I don't think any of it's true. But um, he shot a whole video there. And then he didn't put it online because, and I don't blame him. But he didn't put it online because the bar owner recently got charged with rape. <laughs> Not that it's funny they raped somebody, but it is funny, that's why I didn't put it up. Um, uh, yeah, he apparently, allegedly, uh, um, raped a girl who he was like with out at some party, he gave her some alcohol. He also got very creepy with the cameraman the single time we ever went in there and got a drink to the point where like, I was like, yeah, we're not going to that place anymore. Um, but yeah, no, again, I, I don't know that that man raped anyone. It's not my place to judge that. But, uh, what? <laughs> Just a very, um, very wild story there. Anyways, he went, I, I went off on a tangent. He went to the Wisconsin Dells and he shot a video and YouTube, uh, I think, age-gated it because there's a an old serial killer's head in there. So yeah, well, I'll let you see it. Okay. Here it is, Ripley's Believe It or Not. We don't care if you believe it, as long as you pay us. That's what they say. This is just, this is just Ryan. Looking good, Ryan. Nice. Can you spot the fake? Ooh. Ooh, fake. It's you, you big phony. You're a phony. What the, what the fuck is going on over here? You got this guy hanging. The dog's biting his balls. He pulled this place. You gotta get in and get reaching. Here's the shrunken heads. I guess they're real. You're not supposed to trade those. I wonder how they got them. So this stuff in here is kind of suspicious how they obtained it. Caution, the light bulbs in the exhibit are historic and radiate heat. Do not touch for your safety. Don't tell me what to do. Duct tape room. Welcome to the world's first duct tape room. Everything in it has been made with, or is it made out of duct tape? Um. That's not fucking duct tape. No, that's not fucking duct tape. I think these are a bunch of damn liars. Look at that, it's old old duct tape rolls. Wow, look, it's a duct tape bed. These, that's not duct tape. This is a van duct tape? None of this shit's duct tape, they're liars. Holy oh, shit, look at that. It's me, with my chains on. That's a human bone flute. Now, if any of my subscribers who are over 18 want to comment down below, you can play my flesh, f flesh, flesh flute? My penis? Speaking of penis, that's a penis sheath from New Guinea. You cover your wean dinger with that. Keeps it from getting bit by insects, apparently. There's a giant crash plane in this room. It's pretty interesting. There's a Chinese opium pipe. Look, a crack pipe. <laughs> what am I, back in Baraboo? 
human hair wreath. That's what Brianna's crotch looks like when she doesn't shave for a month or two. Fingernail python. Huh. What is it? West African hate god. The West African hate god. In Africa, tribal medicine men and witch doctors use voodoo paraphernalia like this condies to hex their enemies into painful mental and physical suffering. Every nail driven to this wooden hate god represents a prayer that hard luck or even a painful death will fall upon their rival. That's pretty cool. Somebody really hated this person. It's intense. It's almost like they were paid to create it. Alright, let's look at this. This is a, this is a, a nine foot long python made of 20,000 plastic fingernails. It took six months to Create. Imagine that's what you do with your life. I mean, not that's not kind of neat to look at, but holy shit, that's stupid. Brianna, you just keep turning up. It's a furry fish. Let me let me show you this one. Baby bottle natural wood formation. Believe it or not, this tree root grew around the glass bottle, creating the image of a baby lying on its back, holding a bottle to its mouth. Imagine this. He's like, you know, like Ripley or whoever the fuck bought this. It's just like, hey. Now here's a tree root with a bottle in it. I, I paid 400 for it. We got we got to put it in here. Some of this shit's totally retarded. We got some jaws action going on here. Look at that. His gutties are coming out. And his fingers all torn up. As you reach in, wow, those are those are real shark teeth that they put in this. I was like, boy, those are sharp. And they cut the nubs uh, nubs off most of them so you can't get poked. Why would they do that? They, those are real gutted. Damn, that shit would hurt to get bit by. Fuck you, you bitch. This ghost bracelet. Oh, it doesn't fucking work on camera. Stupid. That's the bird room. Welcome to Hidden Temple. Hidden Temple. Holy shit, it's Indiana Jones. Look at this monkey. Baby bones. That's a pig head and a pig jaw and an actual like kid skull or a small a pygmy skull. Like imagine for all eternity people tap on the glass where you're housed next to a fucking pig skull. She said press it if you dare where? Oh my god, this is really janky. What am I up on? Oh my god, the ceiling's moving. Oh, you can't really see it, but the stuff's kind of wiggling. Oh, what do we got? These tombs are home to some of the rarest artifacts in the world, so rare that a few have been hidden. Take note of the symbol above the door of each tomb as you enter. Explore the tomb for that symbol and press it upon discovery. Your reward will be unmasking of the intriguing artifacts in case of end. That was actually pretty fucking cool. I missed it because it stopped, but if you press the symbol above the door, this skull comes up out of this case. It's pretty cool. Let's go find the next one. That was, oh, 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 it undid it. It undid it. All right, we can get it to do it. I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push the button, and I'm gonna spin over. Go. It's actually kind of neat. This one's full of gold. All the doubloons. <laughs> Uh, I'll look. Wait, I'm looking at the stuff. Just Christ, you Russian ass cameraman. Why do you even work here? When was the last time you were the damn camera? Hmm? You think that's funny? <laughs> I push the symbol, let's see what happens. I'm guessing it's right there. Uh, you, do it. <laughs> you do it, push. What is it? <gasps> Ugly baby! Wow! <laughs> that was less impressive. Now we're in Egypt room. You're gonna get it, King Tut, you fucking bitch. What the hell is this? And why am I sticking my hand in there? Ooh, there's stuff in there. Look, I found a thing. What the fuck is it? What the hell is that? It's like a like an ugly clay blob. I'm gonna get COVID. All right. There's this thing. Looks like a big tall weenie. This stuff's kind of boring. Thing's ugly. Looks like my mom's dog. 
Oh, wow, hidden room. Oh, oh look, the world, the world's oldest beer. Come on, subscribers, help me. The world's oldest beer. 1996 Harrods department store in London, England produced 1,000 bottles of beer fermented from hops nearly 5,000 years old found in ancient Egypt. All right, we're going to be looking for that, boys. I'm going to get an eBay in a second. Where's the symbol? See the symbol? Right there. All right, I'm guessing something's going to drop down or light up. All right. Oh, behind you, behind you. Oh, oh. Hello, cannies. Egyptian hand and mummified foot. There was a big trade in this. They actually, at one point, used um, mummies for fuel as well. What the? In trains. They burned them. They had mummy unwrapping parties, too. That's kind of hot. <laughs> All right. Let's look up this beer. Scariest part of Ripley's normies. All right, we're looking for that symbol. I like that they made this like interactive. It's gonna be here-ish because something happens if I get in that. <laughs> what is it? What's going on in here? What the fuck is this? I found a secret room that's making me feel very claustrophobic. There's stuff in there. It's a shell nose. Oh my god. Rihanna? Yeah? Am I in a different room? Where are you? I don't know. A different room? I'm in a different room. What the hell? Wait. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Where were you that you were telling me I was in a different room, you piece of shit? Uh, Fuck you. Wait, so it was a different room? Yeah. That's weird. I found the symbol. Alright. Alright. Do it. Oh, look. It's Shun Chi, the golden monk. <laughs> Oh my god, don't punch that one. That one's not very good. Careful. Well, look, I'm the neighbor. Our neighbor finger banged the cat, and we told the cat's owner on him. She freaked out. She should have, because he finger banged a cat. I live in a fucked up place. Look, there's another blob in a hole you can touch for COVID. All right, now the cameraman's going to the next room. What do you mean, no? Get your fat little ass in there. All right, bye. Tell me when. Huh? Wow, look at this one, guys. Whoa, that's scary and gross. Ew. This is a really good one, you guys ready? It's a prize winning pistol. City Marshal W. Pittman of Warden, Texas shot it out with a Mexican bandit and won the confrontation by shooting a bullet in the muzzle of the bandit's gun. This, believe it or not, coincidence, won Pittman an all-expenses-paid trip to Cuba, fourth prize in the national BOIN contest? Uh, believe it or not, contest in 1932. Look carefully and you'll see, still see the crushed bullet still lodged in the same barrel. Oh yeah, it's, it's in the side barrel of his pistol. Good thing he shot that Mexican. He's talking for all of us, I guess. Get out of my fucking way, I'm trying to shoot this. God. This is. Weird. The dancers, daggers. Just reading that. This little tiny monkey samurai suit for, I'm sure, a baby. Let me see. Japanese. Knees, boys, daily, daily, or day samurai armor. Dude, I want to dress my kid up in that. Make him be a ninja turtle. Look at that sword. Oh, it's nailed to the wall. All right, push the button. What's going on in this room? You can't even read that shit. No, you really can't. <laughs> like, is this open? No, that's quite locked. All right, there's some shit. Um, uh, chain of 
I can't read it. <laughs> Alright. Fucking room full of spiders. I eat you. What the fuck is this? Push. Okay, I'll reach my hand in this creepy hole and push. What does it do? I don't know. It's like some lit up bugs in there. I don't get it. Neither. Where's the symbol in this room? Oh, we did them all? Yeah. Alright. Okay, now we go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, off camera, this is like an illusion. It doesn't work on camera. But it's like you're trying to touch this bracelet that's not there. Well, look at that guy. Drinking beer, you bitch. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, well, look, it's an Iron Maiden. Ooh. What's going on here? What did that do? Oh, it gives you the answers on this quiz. He doesn't come up? Dumb. The darker side of her voice. Gee, I wonder where it is. No, it's right here. Oh, it's right there? Yeah. And what the hell is this? You go into the cage. I belong in here. They know what I did to those kids. Delicious sex, kids. Cameron, you still love me even though I fuck those kids, right? Cameron, no, don't go. What? Cameron. Who's that? Cameron, bring your big fat ass back to me. Hey. No, no. Cameron found a very iffy bridge. Jump, Cameron. Remember, if you go through, you'll, you can sue. Oh my god. Look at how much it wiggles with me. Holy shit. Oh my god, I could just stop walking like this, but I'm not gonna. Cameraman, what's your mother doing here? Looking good, Lori. There's a six-legged lamb. Damn, I'm a three-legged lamb myself. This one's got a hoof lump. All right. Imagine Ripley's like, yes, I will buy and murder your animal. And everyone will look at it forever. My dad's here too. Got a little, little fit for your dad, isn't he? Yeah. That's a cow made out of shoes. Puma running cow shoes. Is that all that's up here? Other than the hidden stuff? Alright, let's go to the creepy stuff. The par darker side of Ripley's. Damn! That bitch got some gross titties. World's most unusual woman. Maria Jose Cristina used to be a lawyer until. But now she's a tattoo artist and the world's most unusual woman. Nearly 100% of her body is covered in tattoos. Many of which she applied herself, blah, 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 blah. Sounds like it was Mexico. Wow, there's rope lights. It's getting pretty dark up here. This better not be like the kind of dark I experienced in Chicago. Wow. There's some weird stuff. I'm gonna come back through and read this. There's a angel hair witch made of angel hair hostage. It picks a female witch being burned at the stake. Actually, it's kind of interesting. Stupid, but interesting. Weird. There's a medieval chastity belt. Keeps that pussy from getting fucked. It's an empty box. Woo! Um, warlock ceremonial chest. Chest owned and used by celebrated 20th century English warlock doctor Gerald Gardner. Never. Look at all the random shit he riveted into it because it's supposed to be spooky. How stupid. There's that. Is that the Dusseldorf? Oh. What's his name got struck for putting this on YouTube, so we'll see if I can get away with it. But that is the Peter Curtin, the Dusseldorf vampire. Believe it or not, Beheaded murderer Peter Curtin had his own head bisected, or had his head bisected, yeah he didn't have it done, and mummified in an, att an attempt 
by scientists to understand the workings of his mind. Tried for 68 ghoulish crimes, including nine murders, Peter Curtin was sentenced to be beheaded in Germany in 1931. So demented was Curtin's behavior, criminologists believe his brain had to be physically different from the norm in order for him to have concocted his grisly crimes. Therefore, his head was bisected to study his brain and the skull's internal cavities. The authentic mummified head of Peter Curtin displayed here was acquired by Ripley's Blue Renault from the state of Arne Coward, the world's most forma- cl- uh, f- uh, foremost collector of crime and punishment artifacts, has been shown for the first time ever outside of Coward's home in Hawaii. That is uh, pretty gross and or wild. What's this? Oh, it's supposed to be like a guillotine it's in. It's interesting. This is the a replica of Mary Queen of Scots executioned head. It's, it's interesting. What's this way? There's more crap. It's pretty interesting, the whole thing. Bird cage prank. Prank masks were used during the Spanish Inquisition to silence gossips and to publicly humiliate petty criminals. Flesh pinchers. Used during the Spanish Inquisition to tear the flesh from captives, flesh pinchers were often heated while white hot to extort confessions from religious heretics, believe it or not. Spike collar. These are used for pit bulls, right? Uh, spike collars were often put on criminals being transported along. As long as the prisoner did not try to escape, he was only a little uncomfortable. How should he struggle, however, the slightest twist of his head would mean ripping the flesh from his throat. Boy. The Blood Countess. Countess. Bathory de Esked, I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure. Countess of the Hungarian Kingdom is best known for having tortured and killed hundreds of adolescent girls between 1585 and 1610 with her four collaborators. While the exact number is unknown, the highest claim was cited at 650 based on the claim by a woman named Suzanne, Susanna, who had seen the figure in one of Bathory's private books. This number passed into legend. Over 300 witnesses and survivors verified her serial murders and brutality, as well as physical evidence in the discovery of mutilated, dead, dying, and imprisoned girls. Once convicted in December 1610, she was immured in a set of brick rooms where she remained until her death four years later. The first and most popular written legend by Je- Jesuit scholar Laszlo Taraski states Bathory would bathe in the blood of her victims to retain her youth and beauty. When the witnesses' accounts were first published in 1765, the legend was questioned. With all the witnesses' accounts, none of them mentioned any bloodbaths, believe it or not. There she is, big titted bitch. Mmm, bathing in the blood with them big old titties. You can look at her through this window, too. Get a real good view of the titties. Oh, wow. Look guys, I'm back at the furry con. Hey guys, it's me. Well, you know where I'm doing where I am. So here's the Cerveza Aguilera. It's unopened. Pop this baby. Ripless, believe it or not, I'm drinking this beer. Oh boy. It's a very rusted up cap. The smell from this is heinous. Can you smell it through your mask? It's a bit carbonated. It's very, very air damage. See the carbonation? Mm-hmm. There's Normies coming. Oh, this tastes terrible. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell oh. it now. I'm gonna drink about that much. I don't want to drink the rest. All right, that was Ripley's. Hopefully I don't get bitched at for, I do this beer in front of the head, but apparently Colin Brown got struck in some manner. Hopefully I don't. We'll see. Um, Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.